Welcome back to SnowRunner on PlayStation. Sorry for the delay. Episode 69. With me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, this is a turn up for the books. Back on SnowRunner. Um, I've been playing a little bit off, off camera, offline a little bit recently. There are no mods on Farming Simulator, farming simulator today, so I've got some spare time. <laughs> and would you believe it? A few hours ago, I get the message to say that Season 3, Locate and Deliver, is now live on PlayStation 4. Well, I'm playing on PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 4 games are compatible. So, but I'm on PlayStation, regardless. Couple of little issues, though. It will do an update to the game. However, you still need to go and download it from the PlayStation Store. The update won't automatically install the DLC, so you need to go in and do that as well. But here's the problem. I came on to the load game to go into my game and start and see what was new and it, it came up with a message two or three times and looking online on Twitter a lot of people are saying the same thing it's saying there's not enough RAM space it's a PlayStation 5 there should be um, and you have to delete some of your mods I'm nowhere near at my mod capacity and a lot of people on Twitter are complaining saying the same thing so I don't know if that's something that will need to be updated that being said and I load the game up um, there are two new maps. We've got um, Black Badger Lake and the other one we'll have a look at in just a second because my mind has completely blanked. I am also using... Track mods are missing. Uh, great, okay. So there's no surprise there, but we'll see. So we're going to start on Black Badger Lake. Now, I, I've, I haven't done a lot of the Season 2 locate... Uh, the Season 2... Um, what was it? Explore and... <laughs> <laughs> the season two was i've i was still doing lake cove i was finishing off the, the transporting of the armored cars and the plane delivery parts and like i say because i haven't had a lot of spare time but i thought there's two things i wanted to do i said about doing mod reviews and i did a couple and then also ran out of time but there's a mod that i've been having a bit of a play around with and if you follow me on farming simulator you'll know i do like my land rovers so what i actually got was this this is the last raider x3 times 3 by Zidon CZ. I haven't really played around with it much. I had a bit of a look at it when it first came out. So I thought, two birds, one stone. I'll come on to Black Badger Lake. I'll go out, have a bit of a tonk around in the land, in the landy, a bit of landying, um, and see if we can unlock some watchtowers and just have a bit of a drive around and see what, uh, what it's like. So as far as this goes, uh, let's deploy it. In customization, I've done a whole load of options. You can raise it higher, you can get bigger tires, you can get all different sorts of stuff with it, longer roof racks, um, you know, all sorts of things. But this is just me. It's not so much a mod review, but I do want to have a bit of a look. I've got front fuel tanks on it, I've got a small roof rack, I've got a rear tire. Oh, actually, that was something I was going to look at. Well, it says spare wheels. I wanted one for the bonnet. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, it's because I went further through. I went for that one. Let's uninstall and sell that. Just for the look of the thing, of course. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? It looks like a Land Rover now. <laughs> so. I've upgraded the engine, off-road gearbox. It's still got a 5-litre V8 in it. It says Ultimate Suspension. Uh, with suspension, there are a load of options on this one. You've got soft crawler one, two, and three, which is crazy. Stock, which is how it comes. Raised, and then I've gone for ultimate. Again, it's autonomous winch, uh, diff locks engageable, got a high snorkel. There's a whole load of different colour choices and things like that, but this was more about. Having a bit of a drive around. Of course, it would be dark, wouldn't it? What time is it? Let's skip forward. Now I have already just had a bit of a drive, literally just around this little loop here. Just had a bit of a drive around to see what was what. If we go to global map, you will see that Wisconsin, the new one, Wisconsin, has Black Badger Lake and it has Greenwoods River. We need to do some stuff on Black Badger Lake first, which is rather cool. What we'll do...
is head out. Now, what I have noticed straight away about this mod is the, the lights are too high. I think that's for the other roof rack. I mean, they're working, but that seems to be off a little bit. I won't let that bother me too much, hopefully. So, let's head out, see if we can just, like I say, bit tonking around in the Land Rover and see if we can find some stuff. Have a look at the map, see what it's about. This is going to be a little bit more like Michigan, I think. There's not going to be as much, if any, snow, I don't think, on this one. What I have noticed immediately, just doing that tiny little route round I had a look at, there's a lot more sections on this that seem to be a bit more kind of rock crawler-esque. I think because mods are now in the game for consoles, the developers um, have obviously looked at the maps and thought, well, you know what, if people are going to be using mods, we can actually chuck in some much tougher terrain. There are other routes. Obviously, if you're not going to be using mods, you can go around. But for example... Uh, I don't know if we'll see. Let's put up here a second. Let's take it in low. Let's put diff lock on. Come on. You can do this. Cool. These little boulders are a pain. Try and get a bit of traction somewhere. There we go. We'll go. Come on. So you see ahead of me, got that bit there, which with a rock crawler, you can kind of go up that, or winch or whatever. Let's put the handbrake on. So you can go up that little draw there. If you go around to the right, there is a route to get around which is a little bit easier. So I, I definitely think they're, they're doing that to allow for the fact we've now got mods. Which is rather cool. Actually, you know what I will do? Let's just check this again. Where do I want to head to? Let's stick that on. I'm thinking. I'll follow the road first and see how we get on with that. Those two little pinpricks of light are a little bit annoying, but... So you could probably go up around there, actually. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff here, look. That's a bit more kind of off road I mean, this is an off-roader, but am I going to tip this over going up over it? I've got an autonomous winch. Come on. There we go. I think I'm heading the wrong direction, aren't I? But I was just curious to see. Oh, yeah, let's turn down there. Now, the terrain hasn't been that arduous so far for this as a mod, but it is performing pretty well. I'm liking the map, I'm liking the terrain. It has, has added a whole new element. And I'd like to say, I know it's been a while since I've done a video uh, on here. But with the mods being included, there are the purists that will continue to play the game and unlock it all using the stuff that you get in-game. And that's absolutely, you know, why wouldn't you? But I like the fact that to really mix it up a lot now and to expand it even further, that if you want to use a mod, if you want to go out and tonk around in a modded scout vehicle... It, it increases the fun element a lot more now. You can kind of make it a little bit more your own, I guess. Which, considering you look back a little while and they were adamant, or a lot of people were adamant, well, we'll never get, you'll never get mods on console, it's not going to happen. This is brilliant. It's 
just doing all right actually without having to put diff lock on too often. Now sometimes you get modded tyres on the, the modded scout vehicles and vehicles generally that will be excellent on all the categories including ice if you get studded ones. These I think are average on road, excellent or off-road and mud I think. I don't think in the sets of tyres for these there were any that were excellent across the board which is nice again it gives you a kind of you have to have a bit more of a think about what you're going to go for. See for me this is just like when when we got the, the uh, Land Rover-esque the Santana mod on Farming Simulator I'm just grinning I'm playing SnowRunner which I love I think it's a brilliant game anyway and I'm now driving around in a tonked up Land Rover. It's just brilliant. For me personally it just doesn't get any better than this. I could have gone for a much larger tyre on this but I think it would have looked a bit weird if I had it done. Let's stop there. Engine off. Someone asked me the other day about turning the engine off. How do I do it? I go into the menu. Um, L1 and X. You can turn the engine on and off L1 and X without going into the menu. If you don't want to. A lot of people will know that already, but just in case. So, let's have a look at the map. Has this, oh, there we go, right back where we started, behind the garage, there's an upgrade. You know what's really annoying about that? Oh no, I was going to say, I drove up round there, across this bit and across that bridge. That was something I was going to go and show as well, but I don't forget round to it. We'll see, there's so many trails and things now, which is brilliant. Um, these bridges were really wide apart, so depending on what your axle width is, it was a struggle getting the tyres up and across that. Yeah, right, there's an upgrade there. We won't go for the upgrades yet. So we've got log stations back in again, which is what we had on Mud Runner. We kind of moved away from a little bit when the new game came out. Wow, OK. Well, there's a lot going on, isn't there? So where do I want to head to now? Let's go... We'll aim for that one. And we'll see if we can get there. Where do I need to go from here? Down to the road. Ah, oh, we'll work it. We'll work a route out. Oh, good. Rain. That's what we need. <laughs> don't, again, that's, I don't care. I'm just... I get to drive around the Land Rover, so... It's all good. this track a little bit so we can find a route down doesn't matter if we can't and smiling like a small child are there better mods out there that's a personal choice there, there are. I've, I've used a whole load of ones. A lot of the mods at the moment out by JBE, I'm loving. I think they're brilliant with a lot of the options available. You may hate Land Rovers, in which case this is not going to be your cup of tea at all. Now, can I get down over that? Oh, that looks steep, doesn't it? Let's stick it in low range. Let's see if we can get down that without without becoming a small ball of metal for the scrapyard at the bottom. Hill descent control on. Whoa, too fast. Too fast. Let's put it on low, low, shall we?
Excellent. I think this does have... There we go. Slightly faster top gear. So we're going to need to find a route across. I think one of the bridges is out, but there's a bit that's a bit flooded. We might be right to get through that. I will keep checking back on the map. I know some people find that frustrating, but I I have put the marker out, but oh, not like that. Right, so that I'm assuming is what's going to take us off to the other one. We need to go that way. And then from there we'll try and cut across there if we can. If not, I'm pretty sure we can cut up around the back there. I think something I'm noticing on some of the maps we've had recently... Um, you, you, you've been given kind of one route and sometimes if there's a river and the bridge is out unless you've got something that can afford a really deep river you, you've got to you have to fix that bridge otherwise you're not getting across it seems to me on this one there are quite a lot of alternative route options available which again I like Woo. Not using a huge amount of fuel, but it wouldn't hurt to top up. Whoa, that got a bit sticky. Always careful of clonking into uh, errant rocks and smashing the suspension. Let's go a bit of fuel while we're here. Whoops, stop first, nothing coming. This is pretty cool inside as well. Again, especially with having the tyre on the bonnet. There's no mistake in the fact it's a Land Rover. I know it doesn't say that. Last Raider. Now, how deep is this going to be? Because there are some other routes, but we can try this first. <laughs> that looks pretty deep. Hmm. I don't know, hang on though. We got a bit across there maybe. Oh, that's fine. Look. Always get out and scout the right the forward first. Let's get that into whoa, okay. <gasps> Make it stuck in. I'm stuck. Come on. Turn the wheels. Oh. Come on, let's get, try and get a bit of traction. Sometime later. Alternative route it is then. So straight through the camp. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a road at the back. See, look at that. Bit of a rock crawl.
Oh, that's spine jarring. Am I following the wrong route here? Oh no, that's right. Up around there. I think this is what it's supposed to be. Oh, look at that. That looks fun. So just out of curiosity, how's everyone feeling about what's been coming out so far on SnowRunner? How do people feel about the progression on from the first, like the initial release of it, what we got with it, and then what's happened since with the various different season updates and the fact we've got mods and stuff like that, you know? I, sh I assume, I'm just making the assumption that people are really happy about it. It has bought a whole load to the game that we didn't have initially. And it also does show that, you know, I know a lot of people kind of have been and are, are annoyed that the devs seem to be taking a long time to get things done. But I'll be honest, I do get the feeling. Do I go that way and across? Or do I go down and across that road? Let's go and check out the bridge first. Um, they are... You know, let's be honest, when you consider everything that's being brought out on what we're getting in each phase, it's a lot of work to be to be done and, and added. Oh, it's not as rickety as I well, say. It's not as rickety. Oh, hang on. Not as rickety as I thought it was going to be. Oh, hang on. No, it's moving, though. Is that actually... Is that flexing? <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I'll probably go straight down there anyway. Is that an old... That's a railway line, isn't it? Look, all the train car, all the train carriages, cars are all on their side in the water. This is going to be one of those maps, I think, even if you don't work your way through the missions all initially, there's so much driving around to be done. I mean, I know that's true of any of the maps, but... If you have followed all my videos, if you've been watching any of them at all, I have said this right from the start. What I've found brilliant is how each map, or each set of maps, or however you want to look at it, is so different to, the, to its predecessor, or it depends what order you do them in, but they all do bring different elements, um, different types of terrain and landscape, which all bring their own different challenges. And this looks like it's going to be no different. Oh, this is just brilliant. Loving it. This may end up being in two parts because I think I'm only going to get probably to the second. I always underestimate how long it's going to take to get watchtowers done. Let's open up the taps a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> that came out of nowhere. That's not going to help. Is there a log under there? Was that just really just deep mud? Right. quite impressive the road looks looks fairly dry often you find that the, the wet mud looks wet as you approach it it looks like wet mud this doesn't but blimey is it claggy 
Oh, it's brilliant. Right, winch. <laughs> That on, that on. Right, now that, that. Turn the wheel. Then winch. Do not tip over. Do not tip over. This is fantastic. It looks like it's like a it's like quicksand. <laughs> Are we coming out of it though? Hard to tell. Check the map, where are we? Okay, I'll follow the road. Looks like we're going to head off that direction. Let's see if we can get out of this a little bit, shall we? Whoa! Ah, oh, dear. Still not, still out of the woods yet. I mean, we are out of the woods. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? This is a nice mod. I'm, it is going very well. Can't beat the Land Rover with leaf springs. <laughs> Right, where are we going from here? There's going to be some kind of obstruction, isn't there? There's going to be something to stop me. And there it is. Although, there is a track off to the left. What could possibly go wrong? Railway bridge. So, the bridge is out. But... Can we get down there? Yeah, of course we can. Of course we can, we're in a landy, we can do what we like. We're up until they get stuck. Or break down in my experience. So, looks like we're looking looking towards that gap in the trees just over there. Which looks like a bit of a rock crawl to me. Excellent. Wanna head down? Do I wanna head down there? Is that a sheer Drop. I want to be heading for that gap there. Sorry for the angle. Yep, stick it down low. Let's crawl down that. Absolutely mint. Let's go back on again. Uh, 
actually looking at it, I probably could have just carried along that ridge right over the top and down and then cut across a little bit further along but it actually it didn't work out too bad the way I did it well we are getting dark again <coughs> I'm still puzzled actually why on here whether it's I don't think unless it's a, just a console thing why have we haven't got cruise control we had it on mud runner if you just held down was it r3 yeah see that just puts you in cab um, it clicked on the gearbox down the bottom just clicked into cruise control but we don't have that do we we don't seem to let's get that off again you can see that winding up and then getting damaged right from here which direction is that another bridge out looks like we're going to be going right and up through there I think oh no it's in one piece but I don't think we need that way we need this way actually you know what yep round the back there and up to there I think that looks about right I've only done a tiny bit of it. There's so much more to drive and explore and how many more watchtowers have we got? Just one more. Just one more to this desolate shore. Last boats along the River Nile. <laughs> that was that was really Land Rover esque for a minute then. I thought that's not gonna start. Yeah, I'm on. keep going. Just wondered if we can make it to the third one, you know. I'm just thinking time wise, we might do. We might at least get close. Could go over, I guess. What's Tower Two? Great location discovered. Now there are supposed to be, I'm sure it did say as part of this, there are three new vehicles, two huge new maps, three vehicles, additional customization options and more. Whatever and more means. Actually that's quite a long way from where we are, isn't it? Is it meals? This map just seems to be absolutely packed with stuff. I suppose because we've got log stations added. There's an upgrade there. Actually, we can get to that, can't we? Oh, there you go. Gateway to Cranewoods River. So I wonder what that one is then. Are they going to add another one at some point? Yeah, so we can go down from there, cross that bridge, go that way maybe. Taking the upgrade possibly. Looks like a bit of a... Strange route. Well, we could go a little bit further, and I think in the next one, then we'll head for that last one because I don't think we're going to get there in the time I've got left. And that. So, I want to go. Should we go over the top? This could be where it all goes horribly wrong because I'm doing something silly and reckless and. And why not? Indeed. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. 
Sonder. Come on. Just wondering, can I get down off of here? Yes, I can. Turn the wheels that way. There we go. Job, job, it's right. Brilliant stuff. I did skip time to the morning, didn't I? Let me just check the map. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what I need to do is let's refuel. I hope we come to another fuel station at some point. Okay. So I've got some on the back, some on the roof, and some on the front. I think I might have used some of that. Let's see if we can find at least one upgrade. Two watchtowers, one upgrade. I'll be happy with that. Can you... You can't go already, surely. <gasps> you can. So that's unusual. <clears throat> Excuse me, normally you have to... Um, what's the word? Unlock certain things before it becomes available to actually go through. I'm not going to unlock any on here. I'm just... I wasn't sure if it would let me. But it has. So that's pretty cool. So Black Badger Lake and Greenwoods River available straight off the bat. That's pretty cool. Well, at least we know we can now. Like I say, I'm not going to. I'm going to head back because I want to carry on. Okay, so upgrade, and I think that'll be it then time-wise, pretty much, but we'll see how we go. Uh, skip scene. I want to go... That way, don't I? Get the lights on. That on, that on, and that on. Let's see how far we get. I'm thinking, I'm just looking time-wise and thinking about me editing. I might be about five or ten minutes off. Uh, so we are here. We want to follow the track round. Looks like that upgrade is up in some rocks. but So we want to go round to the left, not up to the right. Now is not the time to get bogged down. I'm having the best time. I'm just... <laughs> oh dear, it's brilliant. Have I mentioned that already? Have I mentioned it's brilliant? I'm having a great time. Because I really am. Now, I'm assuming the upgrades are going to be for the various different vehicles that are available. I think I need to go up through the trees there, maybe. It's going to be an easier route up to that, maybe. Let's see if we can uh, work our way through. Not sure, actually, how easy that's going to be. Oh, yeah, look. It's got a pretty good turning circle, this as well. Can we get up there?
We can but try. Yes, we can. Oh, yes. Get in. Right. Uh, there it is. Upgrade is just there. So, what is this upgrade for? Engageable all-wheel drive. Show truck list. The Paystar 5600 TS. Very nice indeed. Okay, so I think we are probably at a point where I'm going to need to stop. Now, it depends obviously when I come to edit. We may find we're shorter than I thought I was. But it's better to do it now than get through and then suddenly realise, actually, you know what? I can't fit it all in. So we'll stop here. Up here on this hillside. Next episode, I will continue from here. We will head back down to there. Follow this along, maybe take in the other upgrade. We'll head out towards that watchtower. And let's see what else Black Badger Lake has to offer. Which at the moment seems to be quite a lot. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.